Okay, the first opponent is going to be Chris. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Okay, then I'm gonna I'm close the stream. Okay, someone in chat can also do a... You can do a score. Like, you can just spit, pin the score as a chat message. Like, you can go score zero zero and chin it and... and, and uh... Also, don't forget the gamba. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can also have a gamba, yeah. <laughs> People are gamba gambling addicted. The good thing for you guys is you guys posted your decks that you would be using, but I forgot literally who was playing what, so... <laughs> yeah... By the way, it was, it was a really big surprise when I when when I saw. So I just looked at my phone, got a notification, and I and I was thinking, huh? <laughs> then I opened the notification and I saw that I'm playing the like the free, I'm the first opponent today, and I, I thought, oh no. <laughs> there weren't that many that were available from the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> most people were like, yeah, I'm available from like to 3 p.m. Be, to, or something. <laughs> to be honest, I'm also only available because I don't have to work this week actually. Okay. <laughs> and I thought, yeah, just why not just apply to it? Hey, do you want me to cut any specific way or whatever? Uh, no, half is fine. Okay. Yeah, I only have one dice, so okay, one is gonna have to work. Do one. High roll? Yeah, yeah, let's high roll. Okay. I have a four. I have a one. So now I would like to start. All right, good luck. Good luck, have fun. Okay, so I would like in draw phase to activate wanted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Then I'm gonna search my Black Witch. Mm -hmm. So I would like to enter standby phase and main phase. Um, let me think for a second. I would like to discard Nibiru to special summon Diabasta and declaring the effect. Mm, yep, Diabasta is fine. Okay. Send them a set of original Sinfa spoils. Hmm. This is and I would like to activate this info spot, send the die burst of a cost. Mm, yep. Um, I actually, to be honest, never played that line. <laughs> Just we all, I, I mean, this is my legit first game with the deck as well, so don't worry <laughs> about it. I already played like two locals with this deck, so I'm not too unfamiliar, but oh, some okay. lines are. Someone are has weird, locals. Yeah. All right, nice. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have locals. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just let me think for a bit. Um, what would be better in this case? Hmm. Hmm. I just thought about adding the Snake Eyes fields, but I think I should have done that. With what? Um, hmm. Diabellstar? Diabellstar doesn't get the field spell, does it? No, no, no. I mean, uh, if I'm... Oh, if to I the would... deck. You're not playing it. Oh, yeah, okay, to the deck, to the deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. I'm, yeah, I'm, I wasn't sure if I'm you were playing, playing the, the now, Fire... Yeah. But I guess if you're playing Fire Kings, it's not standard, yeah. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Um, because that would be really helpful to be on uh, right now. Um, I would like to special summon Snake Ash and declare the effect to such a level 1 Fire Monster. Mm -hmm. That works. Okay. And I would like to add Ponyx to my hand. Ooh, okay. Or wait, if I'm activating this, yeah, I would like to add Ponyx to my hand. Mm -hmm. uh, no draw. Is no... All right. <laughs> so I would like to normal summon the Ponyx and activate the effect to search a Fire King's back trap. Yeah. Alright, and I'm adding... Mm. 
then I would like to add the Sanctuary to my hand and activate the Sanctuary mm -hmm. to activate a Viking Island for my deck. Yep. Viking Island. Then I would like to... To, 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 to banish the original Sinful Sports, target the Diabesta to... Put it to the bottom of my deck and search a level one fire monster. Mm, you can only use one of the effects. Only one? Yeah. Ah, okay, my bad, my bad. Oh, good. Then I would like to activate one to two yeah, targets. That, that one you can use both effects, yeah. <laughs> then I'm drawing one card. Okay. Then I would like to activate, activate the effect of Fire King Island. Mm-hmm. I'm popping my Ponyx to add a Garunix to my hand. So I would like to declare the effect of Garunix. Mm -hmm. So I would like to effect, uh, declare the effect of Garunix to destroy a monster from my deck. Yeah. Kirin effect to reborn a monster or special summon one from my hand. Yep. So I would special summon the Ponyx. Then I would like to declare the effect of Ash, sending itself and Sanctuary. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to special summon the Flambush Dragon. And I would like to make a link to with Ponyx and Karunix into an IP. Mm. Yeah. Then so I would like to <sighs> maybe you would be pretty bad here. Let me see. So I'm about to make a link three for Princess and declare the effect of Flambush Dragon. Yeah. So I would like to special summon Ponyx and Snake I Ash. Yeah. It's an effect of Princess. Yeah. Special summoning the Flambush. Yeah. Seven. Now we. Nibiru. Nib hmm. Satisfying. Someone in chat keep track of how big the token is. I'm not calculating it right now. Yeah. Uh, where do you <laughs> want it? Attack or defense? <laughs> uh, it's probably still defense because it's big. I know that. I don't know how big, but it's big. Yeah. It's 13, 43, 7,000 attack and 7,000, 1, 2, it's 7,037. Uh, 7,000 attack and 37 defense. Yeah, then just put it in defense under uh, Anima zone, wherever, which, whichever. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um... Hmm. So I would like to set one card. Mm -hmm. And... Proceed to the end phase. Okay. Pass turn. All right, draw phase. Yes. Stand by main. That's fine. Hmm. I will begin with a 
people on fire. That is fine. And I will add snake eye ash. Yes. Anything here? Nope. Phenomenal. Okay. I actually cut you off on my main deck. <laughs> uh, okay, then I will normal summon the Snake Eye Ash and activate the uh, I would like to chain Imperm here on the Snake Eye Ash. Yep, that works. I will then use Wanted. That's fine. I have Bell Star. Bonfire Water is actually pretty nice. Uh, yeah, I just wasn't sure if I wanted to start with the bonfire mm. into into the brawl, but into the wanted, yeah. I will summon the Diabell Star by discarding a Poplar. I was thinking that you can just normal summon Poplar first, but I think Ash mm -hmm. is so much yeah. better. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Chain Link One is going to be Diabell Star. Chain Link Two is Poplar. That's fine. Thirty-seven defense, you said, right? Correct. Yeah. Uh, you have. You don't have oak in the graveyard, do you? It's just um. Uh no no no! I just have ash and phonix. I have no oak in the graveyard. I think I have to get original then. I don't get yeah. I have to get original. Yeah, okay, I'll mm. set original. And okay, you discarded an Ibiru for Diabell Star, right? Yep. That's you correct. have three cards left in hand? Yes. There's no way you don't have a second one. Okay, so I've summoned twice. Yeah, so how do I play around Nib, but also out that huge ass token? Because I actually, I don't, I said Anima Zone, but I don't play Anima. <laughs> That's the <no> problem. <laughs> Yeah, I already, I already figured it out. Mm. So, dude, why did why couldn't you go through oak turn one? That'd be so much easier for me right now. <laughs> Ida. So I will turn Ash and Nib into a Hida. That's summon number three. And I'll attempt to use Hida on your... Mm, I would like to sync if on oh. the summon of Hida. Oh yeah, the summon of Hita, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um... <sighs> Let me think about it. You could summon my Ash, summon a Poplar. You discarded the Poplar, right? The first one? Uh, I, I sent Poplar 4, which, yeah, and it's now in oh, spell shop. Um, and you have a witch in this set. So you can potentially summon this one. You also could summon the Garunix. Hmm. The Hida is actually not that funny. Hita and the Mirror Match is pretty good. Uh, I would like to declare the effect of Kirin. Ooh. So that's a. It, it has to pop a fire monster, right? Correct. And you have two more cards in hand, so one of them is a fire. Yeah, that's fine. So then I would like to pop the oak. Ooh, you have oak in hand. Okay. Especially yep. some of the Garunix. Then I would like to declare the effect of Garunix. Yeah, that works. Yep. Then attempt the to use the effect of Garunix. Mm -hmm. Then I would like to destroy a Kirin from my deck and use the effect of Kirin. Yep. To then special summon the Ponyx to then destroy your heater. 
Okay. Then I have chaining one here. Then I would like to activate chaining two ponix. Yeah. Then I would add Circle of the Fire Kings to my hand. So circle plus one other card in hand, right? That's correct. Okay. And I'm searching for Hina. I have normal summoned. Yes, I mean, I will add Poplar and trigger yes. it. Yep, that's fine. Wait, how many summons have I made? Uh, Ash, you had my yes. Ash. This three. Hita. That would be the fourth summon. The fourth summon. This is the fourth summon. Okay. Yes. okay. All right. Poplar effect search. That's fine. At the Bind Temple. Hmm. I'm not really familiar with Divine Temple. If you activate it, you can... Uh, On activation, can... it places a Snake Eye from Grave or Deck, or Hand, mm -hmm. actually, to my Spell and Trap Zone. And if you summon, I get to summon one from my Spell and Trap Zone. Okay. The messed up part is that you now have Princess again. I'll activate Temple. Yes. And put a Flamber from deck into Spell and Trap mm. here. Middle was Imperm, right? Yeah. Yes, correct. Um. Good. Yeah, I'll, I'll look at your hand because I have to get the nib out of there. Oh, or not. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> then. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyways. Uh, yeah. Well, I'll take the I'll take the circle. Mm. It would probably be better if I would have added the circle in the first place and just activated the Viking Island instead of getting the sanctuary. Well, but you did use the sanctuary for cost, right? So you would have had one less. Yeah, that's like you correct. wouldn't have had an easy way to pay the cost for the air. Mm, yeah. I think it was more like a situation where because you already had island, you didn't need to go for Ponix, I guess. Yeah. Maybe that was the okay. Well, that makes it okay. That means I could have used talents to draw or take, which makes me feel bad about it. But okay. Yeah. Mm. But maybe the sucker would have been better because I would have had would be allowed to activate Kirin. Then destroy the key and get the oak back from the from the graveyard or anything else, and mm -hmm. then just play around it. Mm -hmm. Would have been the better player. Well, here I'm using. I have to use. No, I don't have to use simple. Uh, I'm gonna make a linkery ball. Yes. That fine. And then I'm going to make an SP Little Knight. Hmm. And I will use SP. So, Kirin, you've already used the graveyard effect. Yes. Your Runix on destruction does nothing. Uh, this one on destruction does nothing, no. And Ponix just comes back to your hand in the next standby phase. If it would actually be destroyed. Like yeah. card effect, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or battle. Uh, yeah, I'll target your island. My island. Sadly, that's fine. Yeah, it's a mandatory effect island. Mm -hmm. It destroys my whole board. Okay, so one island in hand and yep. not no disruption from graveyard anymore. Yep, that's right. Yeah, we use Sinful and Lamber. Mm -hmm. Summon out a 
question mark. Jet, yes. and then Lamberge mm -hmm. brings out to our Ash and Poplar. Mm -hmm. Then I'll use Ash effect, send itself at Poplar from the Spell and Trap Zone. Yep. Summon out Oak. Yep. Oak brings back Ash. Mm -hmm. Oak sends itself. And Poplar to summon Flamberge. Mm -hmm. These two make a formula synchron. Mm -hmm. Formula effect. Mm -hmm. Washed, you had lethal, dude. It's SP. I can't attack directly. Calm down. You are washed. <laughs> I'll draw one. Yeah, people are actually forgetting about that. That if you use the effect of XP Little Night to banish that, you can. Oh. Can't attack directly this turn. I also sometimes forget that. <laughs> Aaron. Yes. Pitch bonfire for mm. Jet. Mm -hmm. Jet and Little Knight. For Promethean. Mm. Promethean. Bring out Flamberge, Flamberge, yep. Little Knight, and make Amblo Whale. Mm. And then I will pass. Okay, then I draw. Uh, anything in standby or main? Uh, in standby phase? No. Mandatory effect of Ponyx to add to hand. Oh, I forgot to draw with the wanted. Oh, okay. Oh, anyways. Uh -huh. Then main phase. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, you have Baron, you have Princess. Can I see your graveyard real quick? Okay. Then I would like to start with normal summon Ponyx, Ponyx effect. Uh, the this the circle that you're playing. What's the wording on it? Does it have to destroy to add back? Uh, you can check real quick if you want to. Like if you don't know by, by heart. Uh, uh, it doesn't have to add back. It uh, I target a fire monster on my field and a fire monster in my graveyard. Yeah. Uh, if I pop the fire monster, and if the monster is popped, then I can special summon the other one. From but it the has to pop, right? It has to pop, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll just chain Temple on Little Knight. To special summon it? Yeah. All right. Then I would like to add the circle to my hand. Yeah, target one fire monster you control and one fire monster in your graveyard. Destroy that monster you control and if you do special summon yeah, okay. another fire monster from your graveyard. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Then I would like to let me see. Then I would like to activate bonfire. On fire. So in your hand, there's an island and a circle okay. now. You drew a bonfire. That is annoying. 
On fire. On. Poplar. Let's go. Yeah, I'll bear in that. It's fine. Yeah, I'll bear in that. Oh, oh. So I'll bear in. I'll bear in it. Mm. Yeah. yeah. My bad. My bad. Um, Zen, I would like to. Activate the Viking Island. Yep. Then I would like to use the effect of Island. Yep. Searching the. The Arvata. Then I would like to use the effect of Garunix in the graveyard. Mm -hmm. minutes of back then I would choose not to activate the effect of Garunix. Uh if you choose not to activate the effect of Garunix, I will activate my Promethean Princess targeting my Amblo Whale and your Garunix. Mm, then I would like to chain circle target Garunix and my own princess. Yeah, then SP vanishes the Garunix and it's off. Yeah, that's game. Oof. <laughs> I've just never really played the mirror before. Although, I mean, it's not a mirror, but. I mean, that was fun though. I enjoyed yeah. that. I can already tell if we're playing fire mirrors, I don't think uh, we're going to be on schedule today, but we'll see. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the way we're going to do siding is in order to for chat to see what I'm doing, I'll just go into full screen mode for them and I'll deafen on Discord yeah, real I'm quick. Already, yeah, I'm already familiar with... You are familiar. Okay, perfect. Procedure, yeah. Perfect. All right, so see you in a second. Yep. Okay, uh, we're up one game. We're up one game and I want to side in the soul releases and the cosmics for sure against Fire King, the Fire King version. The only other card, like Phantasme and Bell are decent against it in my side deck. I have to check how much we can side out though. I have to check how much we can take out. I definitely love the cosmic going second because you can force a lot of interactions from it. And I want to test the soul release because this is my main my main goal of this side deck for today in the Fire King matchup is test what the soul release is all about. Because in theory, you take a lot of resources away from them. Uh, the only thing that I'm not sure about is how well soul releases synergize with the strategy of playing a lot of hand traps. Because if you hand trap them and they potentially can't even play, there's nothing for you to soul release, right? Um, that being said... I don't even know exactly what you're supposed to side out going second. I'm thinking one Poplar because you're going to have a lot of engine anyways. Um, maybe a Diabell Star as well. Like, I think with the sixth card, like when you know you have six cards available, you can just cut on some amount of engine. So I'm not opposed to taking out one Black Witch because I'm playing three. Also, the Jet Synchron, I think, is way less likely to, to come into play when you're going second because it's mostly about breaking the board. It's not that important to go into synchros. It was good there, but to be fair, we could have also done something else. Like we there was probably another line as well uh, that included, um, you know, uh, just I could have summoned Oak instead of the Jet, basically. Mm. Uh, what else? Do we say side out two Diabell Stars maybe? We can, we can go with one. I could see that. Other than that, there's so much non-engine in this deck. And if we have if we want to side out more, I feel like it would have to be other non-engine. So the question is like which of our non-engine pieces are worse than any of these cards over here? Like, do I side out? I could side out one original. It's not a non-engine card, it's just an like this is the maximum engine I can take out, I think. Let's try it. Let's try going on. Let's try operating on less engine for this game. Um, let's take out a talent, and then we could side in these six. I, I, it's a shame I'm not getting to try the Phantasme, though. 
I would like to. Valor is really iffy. I mean, I do like Valor though. But against the Fire King version, I guess. Against the Fire King version, if they have the potential to just draw Kirin and completely nullify my Valor, we could swap out Valors and Imperms technically. Do we swap out Valors and Imperms just to be like, you know, we can keep some more engine, play the Phantasme as well. Uh, if I want, if I side in Phantasme, I actually don't love Droll though, because Droll is awkward with Phantasme, which I'm just now realizing. Like Droll with Phantasme is awkward because uh, you either Droll them and then you can't Phantasme, or you Phantasme draw Droll and then Droll is too late. Uh, bup, 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 bup. Let's just go with let's keep. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's try it. Okay. You should be able to hear me again, right? Yep. Okay, perfect. I need to shuffle up real quick. So you didn't activate the runes because you didn't have another Fire King left, right? Uh, that's correct, yeah. Yeah. What is it? It pops any tri type, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure. It it's not just Fire Kings fire. that it pops. I'm pretty sure. It's, I think it's just tri types, but yeah, I don't you think... can destroy one Fire Beast piece while we are. Yeah, exactly. But there's like. Face. Oh, yeah. I, I, oh. I mean, it doesn't change anything in your situation because I don't think you have a valuable target. Uh, no, um, I, I just. I will have destroyed the uh, Avatar from my hand. Oh, because it pops and hand field or deck. Yeah. Yeah. So you pop the Arvada, which brings you back a negated Kirin? Uh, Kirin, yeah. Then I would... Then I could... I think I could have I could have crashed Kirin and then Kirin pop a card, I guess. You... If this yeah. card is into the grave, yeah. I just don't think it wins you the game, does it? Because I, I still get my... I have Amblo Whale uh, in the graveyard still. I get yeah. my SP Little Knight back next turn. I have... I had Nib in hand but as also, well a second yeah, one. But, yeah, but, but, but also... Uh, a person in chat uh, pointed out that uh, when I normally summoned uh, Ponyx and you activated the effect of Divine Temper to special summon the SP, I could have uh, activated my Princess in Graveyard to pop the... Uh, to pop the Ponyx and so uh, another card uh, on your field, and if you uh, and if you would have chained anything, I could have had chain circle, and then uh, you could have chained um, the Baron to negate it. But my bonfire would would have resolved, I guess. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah, it's all. I mean, that's the most interesting part is like looking back and see what you could have done. Yeah. Uh, all right. I think I would. I think I would just. Uh, I would just watch the game after. Yeah. Again, and just uh, I would like to go first. Uh, by the way, yeah, okay, good luck. again. Okay. Two. Um, stand by main phase. Yeah, I would like to start with bonfire. You start with bonfire. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Okay, then so I'm going to search the ash. And then you get rolled. All right, that's the unfortunate. Uh, then I would like to tactics look at your hand. All right, it's another droll, a phantasme, <laughs> a wanted, and a bonfire. Oh, that's a pretty decent hand, to be honest. Um, I would like to to take. So you can, uh, can you keep? Yeah, you can keep the droll, phantasma, bonfire, and wanted or other very nice cards to be honest uh, I would like to take the wanted I was talking during siding I said I'm not sure if I like Phantasme and Droll together yeah yeah, yeah. But, uh, well. uh, then unfortunately I have to pass it to you fortunate from my perspective <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay I'll draw Phenomenal. Stand by main bonfire. Uh, I would like to ash that. Phenomenal. It's your turn. <laughs> Draw. 
Oh wow, my draws are stamp by main. Yep. I know that you have another draw. Um yeah, normal summon ash ash effect. Yep. Then I would like to two 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 add the poplar to my hand and chanting one poplar. Yeah, I'll draw. Obviously. <laughs> Then I, would, then I special summon the poplar. So you have only well, you have two you know lords on a bonfire, and you have a phantasm in hand here. Okay, so I would like to make a link run into link creep and declare the effect of poplar. Yes. Okay, then that would take it to the spell trap zone. Mm, let me think what we can do here. You have three cards on hand, right? Two. Two and one of them Phantasme. So we have one unknown. Hmm. I would like to declare the effect of Ash sending itself and Poplar. Mm hmm. No, I can't. I can't phantasm under draw even. Yep, that's correct. Uh, then I would like to special summon the Flamberg. Let's get game. Let's go game three because we're already yeah. over the the planned time, and I like you can. Yeah, you can just yeah. add back uh, an Ash, mm. and I don't have a. Story. I already had. I already had uh, Ash and draw. Invade in hand. <laughs> yeah, let's just go. Let's just go game three. Yeah. Dude, I told you. I, I, I even said. I even said. Sword release is awkward with hand traps, and Phantasma is awkward with droll. I, I jinxed it. I jinxed it. It's fine. We learn. That might just be a side deck construction issue. I think both of these cards are good against this deck but maybe in a different version of like if you're not trying to hand trap the opponent anyways uh we're gonna go full engine back uh and we might even side these back in we're going first i mean phantasme i don't mind here what i mean i'm gonna take out solar releases again definitely gonna keep the cosmics definitely going to keep the cosmics uh we did see a fair amount of hand traps, so I might keep tactics going first. And I think I'm just going to take out Phantasme and I think it's just Phantasme and Soul Release go back out. Uh, for three engine and which one's better? I guess Imperm because it doesn't play into talents. Technically, we did see talents. The question is now, do I rather have more talents or do I rather back up my board with more hand traps? Um... There's a chance we end on Heat Soul. Not always, but if we end on Heat Soul, Valor would be pretty good. Mm, keep talents and imperm. In in early stages of testing, genuinely these decisions that I make often are also just gut feeling or I wanna try it, try it out. You know, like it's it's completely fine in testing to be experimental with these sort of decisions, right? Okay. Go game three. All right. And I will be going first. All right. Good luck. Good luck. All right. Stand by main. Yep. I will summon a Diabelt Star mm -hmm. by sending a Talents to the graveyard and use it. Yep, that's fine. And set original simple spoils. Mm -hmm. Sinful spoils. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, 
had a pretty cool line. Oh. <laughs> I'll use the simple spoils to send that also. Mm -hmm. No Ash? Nope. No, no. I had an interesting line to play around Ash. I'll talk about it after. Mm -hmm. Uh, Special Ash and use the event. Mm, thinking you have three cards in hand, correct? Three in hand, yeah. Three in hand, okay. Then I would like to imperm the uh, Snake Eye Ash. Yes. Okay. That is annoying. Um, uh, I'm gonna normal summon a jet synchron. Yep. That was the thing. I could have normal summoned jet, made Link Karibo, and then and sent then... the Link Karibo for Diabell Star, bring back jet, and make a savage with one negate savage, yeah. before mm. I even. But then I don't have a send for. Oh no, I can send the equipped Link Karibo for the original. Yeah, yeah. that was probably it. Mm. Uh, well, okay. Mm. These two are going to make a formula. Mm -hmm. And now I simply top deck bonfire. <laughs> that would be pretty good, yeah. Hot of the cards. Skip this step. Talents. Jet. Mm. And make an SP. Mm -hmm. mm, you already had your norms. I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. I know. Okay. Um... Oh. Let me think. So you summoned the Aya Bell Star. Summon the Bell Star. Then you activate the originals. Ash. Jet Synchron. Link Karibo. Jet Synchron. SP Lit Knight. No. You can never. So so, okay. So I would like to. Maybe over here. Dude, I just discarded my second talent. So. Fringe man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I already thought so. If you, if, God if, damn if, you, if you can if you can discard one talent then I would I was pretty oh, sure you could give you have a second uh... one, yeah. <laughs> so it basically has only sixteen hundred attack, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah then then uh, I would love to, uh, attack in the middle zone. Yeah, pass. Okay. Set one Drop. pass rather. Yeah. Uh stand by main phase. Norm is summon popular, popular effect. Yep. Okay, so we search the original when I can find it. Yeah. Anything on rest? Nope. Okay. Mm. Senna would like to. Well, what exactly is a graveyard? Uh, SP, two talents, Ash, Formula, and Dive Star. And the original. Okay. Formula is a light monster, correct? Yeah, almost light. Okay. Uh, then I would like to activate Wanted. Mm -hmm. Searching Dive Star. Then I would like to especially summon the Diabasta discarding Veiler. Mm -hmm. And I would like to affect the, uh, activate the effect of the Diabasta. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Set the wanted. And this was summon number 
three. This was two. Two, yeah, yeah. The nib was on my turn. Mm -hmm. This is an I would like to link two into dark and declare the effect of poplar to send it to the spell trap zone. Yep. Then I would like to activate the effect of dark taking your SP. Yep. Okay. Anything on summon? No. Then I would like to link four into Appaloosa with two materials. Yeah. Then I would like to activate or which in is sending Poplar. Mm -hmm. Then I would like to special summon the oak oak effect target Poplar. Yep. So I already know Miss Summoned. Uh, now it's a shame again that I don't play. An access code. Access code would be pretty nice here. Um, then I would like to to activate to activate wanted target the original. Mm -hmm. To send it to the bottom and draw one card. Oh, that was actually pretty nice. Um, then I would like to activate Kirin. Mm -hmm. Sentence a poplar, then I would like to activate Kabunix in my hand. Ah, okay, yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so then I would like to activate the effect of Kabunix. Yeah. Sending the Kirin. So the token has 1600, so that would be 1400, 38. 38, 38, 54, and I would like to end the main phase. Yep. Go into the better phase. Mm -hmm. uh, activate uh, 3000 into the tokens, and it would take 14, then 24. Yep. Then 16. Mm, I'll imprim that. Okay. And then. 39, so 39, 24, 60, 61, 7,500, okay. Uh, then main phase 2, I would like to declare the effect of Oak, sending Wait, how much? Up. Wait, this was, it was 1,400, how much is Kirin? Uh, Kirin is 39. No, Garunix is 39, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Garunix is 39, 24, it's 63, and 1400 is... 77, 77. right? Yep. Okay. Uh, then I would like to... Mm. So, can you show me your graveyard? Quick. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, okay. So I would like to use a Palooza and Nibiru for an SP targeting your original to banish it. So I would like to activate the effect of Oak sending itself and here yeah. Yeah, I don't think I can come back, but I'll try. We'll yeah. see. Mm -hmm. I think my turn one was wrong, though. There was definitely ways I could have played yeah. through some hat traps, at least. So I would like to make a link to... into an... Oh, no, I can make a link to... Never mind. 
I would have to make it with these ones. Yeah, so I would just go princess. Yep. Effect flimber. Yeah. Targeting these two. Mm -hmm. Then effect of princess. Yep. Flamber effect. Yep. This is P. And then. Your set is wanted, right? Uh, yes, that's correct. Okay. So I would probably make. Um, blow rail with these mm -hmm. two. But I could just. Oh, I think I could. I could have made a better play, to be honest. I don't think it's gonna make a difference. <laughs> I think it'll be fine. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I think that I would just make a link Karibo and pass to you. Yeah, I got bobblers. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I think it would have GG's. I think it would have probably been uh, been better if I made uh a a sunlight wolf first and then made and made them made the blue raid get oh, yeah, yeah. Cute, yeah cute, i think yeah. so but dude my i definitely had a better line turn one probably yeah so what was the line it's like normal jet then jet link Karibo. i think the first line you set with uh with link Karibo and diabell star would have been probably better yeah then you sent the link Karibo for diabell star it grabs you this right Mm. And then you make a savage here. Yeah, that would be one, two, three. That would be the fourth summon, yeah. Now you make savage here. And you equip the link rebo. You get, well, not here, but like here. And then mm -hmm. you get the counter, and then you do this. And then send the link rebo to. Yeah. Because what stopped all... me? What was the hand? It was imperm that stopped me, right? On the on the ash. Uh, yeah, yeah, I had yeah. imperm on ash. And so here, like. If, if I go at, like, basically, because you had Imperm Nib, you can still probably just wait and hit me with yeah. it at some point still, but, like, I... I had, I had these. I definitely, it's definitely looking better for me than what I did. Because mm -hmm. you can't Imperm the Ash here, because I have Link Rebo as well. Well, Yep. Yeah, that's the, the kind of nuances that I still need to work out, but it's fine. Mm -hmm. That was a good game. Yep. Appreciate you for coming on. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll just move on to the next player then, and I'll see yep. you around. Bye-bye. Peace. Bye-bye. Yep. Peace. All right, I moved them. Yep. Okay. All right. We got clapped up in the first one. Uh, I feel like that game three could have gone better. I think the main takeaway... The main takeaway... So, okay, the reason why I discarded my second talents is I, I simply didn't think about Nibiru. Uh, I, I was like, I'm just going to SP pass. What am I going to use this talents for? And my thought process behind keeping the Poplar, because I thought about... I thought about pitching the Poplar for the, uh, for the jet to get another equip thingy. But then I was like, I kind of need some, sort, some form of follow-up. Right? The, the the alternative line would have kept talents in hand. No, we don't have to talk about it. The second the the, the the line we just talked about was way better. That was definitely better. We we I should have I should have gone for that. That's okay. That's what we're here for. Uh, bu -bu -bu. We just quickly side back and that. I think the main takeaway from this though, besides obviously you need to practice your lines with with awkward hands like that last one. Uh, the main takeaway was that the side deck, uh, I I don't I, like because I wanted to try cards like Phantasmae and Soul Release. I put them into the side deck despite them not having great synergy with the main deck. Like when you draw these cards together with some other cards in the deck, it doesn't actually do that much. Like for example, uh, in that game where I freaking went, uh, freak, what, what did it? What draw disables my own Phantasmae two turns in a row. And friggin' they don't play under draw, so my, my, my soul release also does nothing, right? So that's one takeaway. Anyways.